What's up guys? Welcome back to the bakery for another YouTube video. I just received a custom request for a rustic two lamp chandelier to go over an island eating area. So I went ahead and searched through my scrap metal selection, got the customer's approval on the materials to use, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to walk you through making a two lamp chandelier out of this. Okay, so before we get started on our chandelier piece, I went ahead and just sketched up something real simple, rough idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, this is going to be a two lamp chandelier that's going to hang over, I believe, a customer's uh, island or like eating area. So uh, we're going to cut this chain into two different sections and lay out the shape we want in our chandelier. And uh, it's also going to get the chain into some smaller sections because we're going to let this soak in some rust remover uh, solution. So let's get it cut up. Alright, we've had our sections of chain length sitting in our evaporust here. Let's pop the top and see what we got. Okay, so we've got all the rust cleaned off of our sections of chain here. One last cleaning step I like to do is I have a small bowl of acetone here. I just like to soak uh, the chain in this and that's going to get rid of any uh, sort of residue, soot, or uh, any of the rust removing material that's still on there. It's going to give us nice clean steel surface to weld on. So we're just going to let this soak for about an hour or so. A few moments later. Okay, so we got our pieces of chain here all out of the acetone. Uh, I wiped them off with a towel and I let them air dry too. And then I hit them up with the wire wheel. I just let them air dry because acetone is flammable and we're going to be welding. So trying to avoid, uh, you know. So uh, we're going to uh, start to lay this out in our chandelier shape and we'll start getting it welded up. Okay, so just a quick look at our layout here. This is what our finished fixture is gonna look like, all welded up. Uh, I just laid this all out by hand the way that I wanted it, or the way the customer wants it, I should say. And now, all that we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna weld up every single one of these chain link joints here on all sides throughout the whole fixture here and that's just going to give us our permanent look the way it sits right now so uh, let's get welding <laughs> fixture is officially permanent had to get my uh, little maker's mark in there as well uh, we're just letting this naturally cool down now and uh, then we got a lot of cleanup work to do we're just gonna clean up uh, all the burn marks and just any of the slag that's just attached itself to the chain and uh, then we're gonna start uh, wiring this baby up Okay, so we're all cooled down and cleaned up. This is how we're looking so far. Gonna hang from the ceiling like so. And I'm gonna have two, uh, two bulbs, one on each side here. 
Uh, I just want to point out that um, the cleaning on this was so extensive because this particular customer wants a clear coat finish. So uh, I really want just nice clean steel to shine through. Uh, but I've done plenty of these in other colors. And I mean, if you're painting it a color, uh, you obviously don't have to go so nuts cleaning off all the burn marks and everything like that. Paint's going to take care of that. So uh, we're ready for clear coat. Let's, uh, let's get it painted up. Okay, so we're all set up here with our clear coat finish on our light fixture. We are good to go for final assembly and we're going to get this wired up now. Over here, I have two Bulbright lamp wire harnesses. These are both in a gunmetal finish. They're also available in like bronze and black and other uh, other finishes to match whatever you're doing in your house. Uh, gunmetal is just going to go with our clean steel finish here. Each of these harnesses are going to get weaved in and out of these chain links up to what's going to meet like ceiling wiring in a house. And then uh, our final finish here is I've got two big uh, uh, antique bulbs that are going to go on either side of this and uh, it's really going to make this fixture pop. So uh, we're going to wire it up. Alright guys, this concludes our chain link chandelier video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I'm doing a good job for you all out there. Uh, be sure to like and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys like what I'm making. Uh, tell your friends. And I hope you don't mind, I'm totally going to take this opportunity to say that I have a couple more ideas. <laughs> so, hope you guys stick around and stay tuned for the next video.